Hey, welcome everyone. Uh, this video is going to be about uh, CCRP bombing. I'm using uh, GBU 38s. Okay, uh, these are guided bombs, right? They're uh, INS GPS guided. Okay, so um, right now I am uh, about 30 nautical miles away from the target, two minutes out. Uh, I'm at combat speed, so Mach 0.9 hard to see on the HUD here but um, so uh, what I'm going to do is just show you the fence-in procedure uh, I'll go ahead and unpause this so, so to fence in uh, we go master arm on okay then uh, I'm already there but we'll go air to ground and then uh, here on our SMS page we need to power on these okay so any munition that requires power basically if it's a smart munition it's going to require power you need to turn that on there uh, on the sms page okay on the air to ground mode you notice on the left we have our fcr in ground mode uh, gm here you can see so uh what's that what that's doing is uh basically looking at stationary targets if i wanted to look at moving targets i would click here and then go to GMT. Okay, and then this is going to show up with uh, ground moving targets. Okay, and just like on the air to air FCR, I can click here and zoom in. We have three zoom levels. Okay. Or on GMT, you just have two. On uh, ground monitor mode, you have uh, three. So, norm, expanded, and then. Uh, extremely close. So I'm on my target steer point seven, so this is my target area. Um, okay, and um, but I'm not going to use this for uh, this demonstration, okay? Uh, actually not going to use any of my systems. I'll turn my target pod on though so that we can watch. Stand by air to ground. Um, okay, so the HUD symbology for CCRP is uh, this, you get this vertical line here, this is your bomb fall line. Okay, so your uh, flight path marker, FPN, needs to be on that bomb fall line. Pause it here. Uh, on the right side of your HUD, uh, just like you saw in the air to air, and really any munition that, uh, it, it, about 90% of the uh, bombs or missiles that you use are going to have this symbology here, which is, of course, your range uh, bracket. Okay, so um, there's two ways you can drop a bomb in CCRP. You can toss the bomb, okay, uh, or you can, which is this line here, okay, and of course this is the range carrot. This top line will be your toss, so that's where you uh, put your nose up 20 degrees and hold down the pickle button. Um, but this bracket here is what you'll normally uh, be dropping the bombs in. So uh, anywhere inside that range bracket, you can hold down the pickle button, and uh, it'll release the bomb. Okay. Now hitting the target is of course a different thing. So with the GBUs, what you need to do is uh, Select your target steer point that you set up. If you don't know how to do that, then uh, go back to um, another one of my videos. I talk about the 2D setup, and uh, you can set that there. So I have the target set at steer points 15 through 18. I have four bombs. You can see that uh, here for GBU 38s. Okay. So um, I have target or point the uh, steer point 15 selected. Um, I'll just zoom in here on my target pod so you can see. Go to narrow mode and then uh, use a slider to uh, zoom in. So you can see that that's a, actually a dock there. Then uh, if I switch my steer point, you can see that it cycles through my targets. Now, you don't even need your target pod looking at it. It's just more of a feel-good thing. Uh, as long as you have that steer point selected, the bomb will hit that steer point. So what this means is that um, in the US F-16s, 
you can't drop all four bombs at once. You have to actually pickle one, then cycle your target, then pickle the next, then cycle the target, and so on. Uh, and that's what we're going to do uh, coming up on this target here, which is the docks. So uh, go ahead and zoom back out uh, just so you guys can see some, some action here. This is incredibly boring. These bombs are wildly boring to drop. But, uh, or once you get used to them anyway. Um, uh, we are fairly high. Okay, we're, you don't want to be low when you're CCRP bombing. Okay, that's, uh, I'll cover that in CCIP. Um, so, yeah, bomb fall line you can see here. Uh, this horizontal line is coming down. It's going to move down here. And since we're at the toss uh, range, uh, there's going to be a circle that pops up. I'll show you that. So we have the circle, the blinking circle at this point. I could pull up 20 degrees and hold down the pickle button and uh, drop that bomb. But uh, we're just going to continue here. Okay, and so as I get closer, I'm getting ready to switch my steer points as well. Okay, and all that I'm going to do, from this point on, you can hold your pickle button. So I'm holding my pickle release. GBU one released. Away, two GBU away. released. Steer point. Three away. GBU released. Steer point. Four away. GBU released. Okay. So there we go. I've got four of them released. I can pull away from the target area. This works very well if there's triple A or something. Uh, we'll watch those fall and then I'll tell you what's going on with this master caution. Zoom out here, we'll see. All of our bombs hit their targets. So, uh, should note here right here on the bottom of your HUD, after you release, uh, that switches to the time until impact, okay, for the last bomb you drop. So uh, we still have about 30 seconds. It's going to keep turning. So back there is uh, my target. Yep, see that first one hit, second, should be there and number four there we go so that's CCRP bombing you can see why I call it a little bit boring because uh, once you get the hang of it it's uh, just selecting a steer point dropping a bomb of course you have to get to the target first but uh, yeah that's that's it there's uh, nothing to it um, so uh, this master caution Okay, is associated with the state of the aircraft, All right? So, um, right now, right here in my stores config, I'm in Cat Three. Cat Three is uh, basically it restricts the flyby wire or the uh, your maneuverability. Okay, so it's meant to keep you from damaging your bombs. Okay, uh, so this master caution. If you read down here, is the stores configuration, okay? So that's what that's coming on about. So if I uh, switch to Cat 1, first of all, the Master Caution goes away, and second of all, it become much more maneuverable, okay? So generally, if, uh, you know, if, when you have bombs loaded, you're going to have to be in Cat 3. But if you get into a situation where you do need to maneuver quite a bit and you still have bombs on board, uh, like let's say you uh, get into an air-to-air, -air, uh, like a, a dogfight, or um, looks like you're getting into a dog, about to get into a dogfight, or you're defending a lot of SAMs, uh, just go ahead and jettison. Uh, you can jettison using the Admiral's doorbell right here, the emergency stores jettison in those situations. And uh, and then going to Cat 1. Okay. Um, 
so that's about it. So I'm Cat 1 now, target's destroyed, and that is CCRP bombing. Okay? Alright, I'll see you in the next video.